I'm showing you how to get AristoS for 1.12.2. So to get AristoS, you want to head over to their official website, AristoS.net. This is going to be linked down in the description below, together actually with my Discord server, and I'd greatly appreciate it if you could join that. Anyways, you want to click on that white download button over there, then here, click on the gray download button. Then the download will automatically start. Anyways, here as you can see in my downloads, I have Aristos, which is great. Now to use this, you do actually need the Java platform made by Oracle to run it. You'll have it if you've ever modded Minecraft or done stuff like that before. If you don't have it or you're not sure, I will link it down in the description below. Anyways, I can simply double click on this to open it up, or I can right click on it, go to open with, and then select the Java platform. Anyways, once I've done that, Right over here, I can click on continue, choose my Minecraft version, which in this case, of course, is going to be 1.12.2, and then I can click on next. Click on install right here, and it'll complete really quickly. As you can see, it's already done. Because this is just the installer, we can actually delete this if we do wish to do so, and we can open up the Minecraft launcher. Here in the Minecraft launcher, you'll notice Aristos for 1.12.2 is automatically selected. If it isn't, you can select it right through here, and we can click on play, after understanding the risks of playing modded Minecraft, of course. After opening it up for the first time, you're going to see some stuff explaining how to use it. You don't need to worry about that too much, seeing as I'm also going to show you exactly how to use it right now. Anyways, you'll land on the home screen over here. I really love this home screen. A lot. Um, anyways, I'll just go into single player right here and show you how to use it. So in terms of showing you how to use this client, I'll just briefly show you exactly how to get started. If you want a full in-depth tutorial that literally explains everything, I will link that down in the description below. Anyways, to get started, as you can see on our screen, we can press on right shift, and what that's going to do is open up the click GUI over here. All these things are the utilities that this client has. You can click on them to turn them on, and click on them once again to actually turn them off. The ones that are highlighted are, as you can see, turned on by default. In most of these different sections here, you're able to scroll. Make sure you keep note of that, that way you won't miss out on anything. If you're looking for something specific, you can enter it in the search bar right over there. Anyways, um, you can actually right click on them as well, and as you can see, what that is going to do is open up a customization menu for these. Some of them will have more customization than others, however, one thing that almost all of these customization menus have is the option to set a keybind. If I click on that just like so, I can press on any key, for example the M, and now as you can see the keybind of, to be fair I have no idea what I clicked on, um, is now M. And that is basically how that works. Anyways, I can press on escape and that is going to close this menu over here. As you can see, there are a few other things on our screen. In the top left, we have the tab GUI. Basically, it's a compact version of this and you can navigate it using the arrows keys, as you can see. Um, it's pretty basic and some people do like to use it, others don't. Um, and the bottom corners of our screen, we have some general information, as you can see, frames, ping, um, speed, coordinates, all of that stuff. If we go right into here, as you can see, we can turn these off if we want to. I can turn off the tab GUI, as well as the movement info and the performance, and that will clear those things off of my screen. Except for the one in the top right corner, that is something known in this client as the active mods, also commonly as the array list. If I enable a bunch of stuff right now, as you can see, all of the active mods are going to show up in the top right hand side over here. And we can of course turn that off as well, and then we won't see anything on our screen, it'll be completely clean, but of course we still have access to the click GUI over here. Anyways, I feel like I kind of forgot to mention, but it's very obvious, of course, when you hover above these, you're going to get a brief description, that way you'll know what each of them are, as well as what they can do for you. Anyways, closing out of this area over here, this client actually has something else, and that is commands. Now, similarly as in regular Minecraft, you would type slash give, for example, the slash would be the prefix you use for the command. For Aristos, we use the dot. As you can see, I can type in dot help over here, and that's going to give me a bunch of pages I can cycle through of the commands that this client has. As you can see, after the command, it also tells you um, basically the usage. 
So in this case, I guess I can type in, for example, dot friend. Need to spell it correctly, of course, dot friends. And then list, for example. As you can see, I currently have no friends. But I also know that I can type in dot friends and then add you, of course. Anyways, basically, that's as simple as that. Um, if you do have any more questions or stuff like that, of course, feel free to leave those down in the comments below. Remember that the in-depth tutorial on how to use this client is also down there in the description, together actually with the subscribe button, and I'd greatly appreciate it if you could press that. Anyways, for right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I do hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.